Freshman from Flowery Branch. Brings Cox in motion to the left. Straight ahead goes Dwyer. First down and more. Lowers his head. Still taking Royal Blue with him. Go, J.D. 22-yard line for Dwyer. Wow. I tell you, that can, that can excite your team when you got when you got a guy that keeps pumping their legs through the hole. He's got the first down. He gets. It looks like he gets stopped, but his feet just keep going. And his, and his teammates are watching it. The Duke defense can't pull him down. Finally, by the time he gets to the sideline, they drag him down. But it's just a great effort by Jonathan Dwyer. Here's Lewis. Draw. Oh, no. Michael Johnson hit him head on for the loss. Back at the 28. Snap to him. Dropping back, here comes Tack with Derek Morgan sacking him at the 22. And Derek Morgan gets back there for his fourth sack of the year. He's got six and a half tackles behind the line and Duke's three and out. Thomas, the wide receiver here to the left against Leon Wright. In motion comes Greg Smith. Here is Shaw rolling left to pass, being pressured. Hit as he throws, Thomas there, and he makes a great catch. Ball got stripped, but out of bounds, and I think it'll belong to Georgia Tech. Demarius Thomas had the ball, it'll be ruled a catch. And then Leon Wright, I think, got an arm in to strip it away at the 20-yard line. In motion goes Smith. Here's Shaw keeping right side at the five, and then he got bashed pretty good at the four. J-Bo Shaw hit by Matt Daniels and Clifford Rasmus the tackle and come out of his nose guard spot to make the play. Chandler Anderson hold, the kick is away, and it is good. Timeout on the field, 5.29 to play in this first half. We've got our first points, a 20-yard field goal by Scott Blair. Well, not a very pretty first half here in Atlanta. Georgia Tech's got 215 yards of offense, but only three points as we get ready to go to the locker room. Jeff Wolverton downstairs with head coach Paul Johnson. Frustrating there, not being able to move the ball in the first half. Just what coaches couldn't come up with. Well, I can't finish the drive. We're getting beat up front pretty good. We got to find a way to finish the drive. We haven't been able to run the option. Uh, we gotta, I think we can get it fixed at halftime, but we got to play better. Thanks, coach. Lewis in the gun. Tech brings four. Lewis sacked. Cedric Griffin, the first guy to get there, and then Vance Walker was right behind him. You know what we did today is we we didn't give up any big plays, and uh, you know we weren't perfect. And there's some things we can point out. We let them get behind us a couple of times there in the second half, but they didn't complete it. But uh, you, you know we we made some plays. We, if you can't run the football, it's hard to play. Now it is second and fifteen. Here is Shaw looking to throw. Look at Thomas's way down the side. Went up the ladder to make the catch. Great catch by Demarius Thomas at the Blue Devil 22. 26 yard strike. And he threw it only to where Bebe could go get it. In motion goes Jones. He'll toss it to him. They turn him inside. He got the block. He dives for the touchdown. Ronnie Jones. Lucas Cox. Cleared him out. And then Roddy Jones, the redshirt freshman from Chamblee High School, just dives into the end zone. And it is his second rushing score of the year. Second and eight at the 33. Harris again from the shotgun, runs right in to the loving arms of Daryl Richard and Vance Walker. It's Walker who'll get credit for the tackle. It's Richard who clogged things up. 2-11 to play now here in the third. First and 10 for Tech. At its 47, Shaw, the trap, hand to Dwyer. First down, 35, cuts back, 25, 20 to the 17 goes John Dwyer. First play of the final period is second and goal at the two. Shaw from under center. Here's j -Bo. he'll keep it. Left side, touchdown, Georgia Tech. Tal Ely Ely hammered him as he got to the goal line. But the line judge came in and signaled touchdown for the Yellow Jackets. J. Bo Shaw gets his third rushing score of the year behind Jonathan Dwyer. Tech showing blitz. They fall off of it. Here's a freeze pitch, and that's going nowhere. Jackson broke away from Reed, and then Travis Chambers and Morgan Burnett plowed him under at the 18, lost the six, third and 11. A pair of A-backs and Dwyer behind Shaw. Here is Shaw looking to throw down the seam. No, he'll take the deep shot. Thomas the catch. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Georgia Tech and Bebe Thomas. 88 yards. 
You know, yeah. And you know, we knew they were going to play a little bit of press man, so and they did. And when I look out there and see a five of them not bashing that corner, you know, they, they like I said, their defense is very tough. But when you look out there and see that five eleven corner against a six five receiver, you know, that's pretty easy to see that match up when you just throw it up and let him make a play like Bay Bay does. Here's Lewis on third and long. Looks, throws, and beyond the reach, intercepted. Down the side, Alex Walker, 15, and knocked out of bounds by Lewis. 56 seconds left, snap spot. Kick is up, and it's good. So Georgia Tech, four plays, three yards, and the field goal by Blair makes it 27 enough. That's a good job getting enough to get it done. Found a way to win. Like they say, 27 is more than zero. 27 is more than zero. We still got a lot of stuff to work on, but I know this. I turn around, I look at all those goals over there. They all still there. Every single one of them. Now, next week we're going to be the halfway point of the season. We'll come back and go to work on Monday. We'll make sure after next week, we're five and one. Five and one. Halfway through, and all those goals will still be right there. Right there to get ready to go. Proud of them. Played hard. That team played hard. Give them some credit.